everyone and welcome to another video in which we are taking a look at all of the different sheep breeds when it comes to their wool and spinning. And today our focus is on the Southern Welsh Mountain Sheep, a breed renowned for its hardiness and ability to withstand all of the extremely wet weather that the Welsh mountains can throw at them. These are typically a large breed and a clean fleece can weigh upwards of 2kg, with some instances recorded as heavy as 5kg. And while they have been bred for meat production in harsh conditions, they still produce a fleece that is of great value to spinners. And perhaps the most unusual thing about the Southern Welsh Mountain Fleece is that it has a fine scattering of red kemp throughout it, along with an abundance of white kemp as well. These red kemp come from the rough collar of wool the sheep have around their neck, and this scattering of red fibres does add just the tiniest little hint of colour to the finished wool, which is very pleasing. Although, if you are looking for a true white finish, then it is something you need to bear in mind when selecting a breed. It's also worth considering the fact that the amount of red that you get in an individual fleece does vary greatly from sheep to sheep. Being a very hardy creature, Welsh Mountain Wool is not the softest you're likely to encounter, and it tends to have a micron count somewhere between 30 and 40, although it can go as high as 50. This does mean it can be really quite scratchy, and unless you are particularly tolerant of wool, you'll likely find it is much too coarse to have lying right next to your skin. And having said this though, it's not so scratchy I wouldn't happily use it to make a gilet, for example, or something that's going to sit over the top of clothing, as it does have a wonderful hard-wearing nature and a really nice rustic quality to it. But unless you're willing to wear something else underneath it that's not the wool itself, then it is probably best left for rugs and other furnishings. The staple length should fall anywhere between 2 and 4 inches, making it a little bit on the short side when compared to other spinning fleeces, and while this could make the wool quite challenging to spin with, because it has that very high micron count combined with a very variable and erratic crimp, it's actually quite easy and doesn't feel like it's going to pull away too much when it's under a higher tension. I did though find that I had to keep the spin speed lower than I usually would do, simply because of all of that kemp. This combined with the unpredictable crimp does mean that you have to pay attention to what you're doing just to keep your singles as even as possible. And also as a side note when working with this wool, it is extremely messy to spin with. I was covered in bits of kemp and short fibres within about 5 minutes of starting. So it is definitely worth putting on an apron or just a cotton sheet or something over your lap and maybe even a towel or something on the floor just to catch all of those stray hairs. Overall though, while Southern Welsh Mountain Wool certainly isn't the easiest wool in the world to spin with, it does create a lovely textured yarn that can withstand quite a bit of wear and tear, and so it is perfect for outer garments and rugs, that sort of thing. Anywho though, I hope you've enjoyed this little video all about the fleece of the Southern Welsh Mountain Sheep. Happy spinning everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!